Welcome back to building a mega factory. My name is Diablo and today ah, oh today I have no picture it seems. Ah yes I do. Good. All right. Um well today I uh, do want to get on with some blue chips. Uh, or I would like to do some blue chips in the mega style, but while testing this stuff, hey, Dark Antillian, and ask Suftaland. I hope I say that correctly. Good day to you both. Um, so I was testing a lot of stuff out to see how I could, you know, best set up blue chips and in the mega base style, and where I would do that, and all that nice stuff. And then I started thinking, okay, well, what do I need for Blue chips. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, we need red and green. Well, we have that. And we need sulfuric acid. Well, if I want to make a, a lot of blue chips, I'm probably going to need a lot of sulfuric acid. Um, okay, well, let's work on that first. So, let me get to the oil refinery. Okay, that is already selected. So I started thinking about what to do, and HSF Clayman says, Hi, welcome to the stream. Um, what was I saying? Right, so I started thinking, well, what do I do? I need a lot of acid, probably need a lot of acid. Um, how do I make that? How do I do that? How do I actually get that? Um, for that, I need a lot of petrol, but I'm already using a lot of petrol at the plastic station. Hmm. Well, let me see if I can design something. So, I actually uh, started testing with different designs. Uh, let me show you the process that I went through so you can understand. Jordi, good morning to you, sir. And welcome to the stream. So, let me take you through the process of what I went through so you understand why I ended up where I ended up. Um, so, what do you need for acid? Well, you need sulfur. So I thought, you know what? I'll just build a whole bunch of sulfur um, uh, plants, which then feed into, you know, twice the amount of acid uh, plants that I now have in my normal factory. Because that, you know, that produces quite a lot. Uh, Dark Anthurian says, yesterday I figured out to do reels proper. Very nice. Very nice. Proud of you, man. Um, so I thought, you know, I'll double the amount of acid that I'm producing. Um, that, and, you know, with a lot of input from from sulfur, that should give me a lot of uh, sulfuric acid to work with. And it did. I mean, kind of. It works like a charm. But it, you know, it's not, it's not really optimized and it doesn't let really look, you know, perfect. Does every, anything ever look perfect? But, you know, it, not to my mind, at least. It didn't feel right. So I thought, all right, all right, how can I improve this? How can I make this better? So I started tinkering with it, and before I knew it, I had something completely different, which was this setup. As you can see, it's much smaller. Um, it's more compact. I'm back to four uh, uh, sulfuric acid chemical plants, uh, but everything's beacon, so it produces a lot more, a lot faster. Um, so that that was a nice setup. I like the look of it. I like, you know, it, it worked the way I wanted it to work. Um, and I thought, okay, what else do I need sulfuric acid for? Because if I'm going to build this, um, I might as well, you know, expand upon this as much as I can. So... I thought, well, there's not a lot that actually used or uses sulfuric acid. I mean, it's blue chips and um, batteries. So, yeah, that's. I think that's it. Uh, I might be mistaken in that, but not a lot of other stuff uses sulfuric acid. Well, of course, if you uh, count mining, it's uh, the uranium mining uses it uses it as well, but. Other than that, nothing else. 
So I thought, okay, I'm producing massive amounts of, of sulfuric acid now. I would like to have, in, eventually, a large um, research center. Although, research needs, especially in massive amounts, batteries in massive amounts. If we have, a, if we take a quick look whoops, uh, at our current research setup, we can see that right over here at the yellow setup, which is now woefully underpowered because I'm not actually use, producing enough blue chips, but we'll get to that later. Um, if we look at the yellow setup, it uses batteries. And um, if, if I want to go big, like really big, um, I need a lot of batteries, right? Because I want all of this to work and I want this maybe to be four times as large or eight times as large or as large as I can, you know, feed it with the stuff that I have. Um, so I thought, all right, all right, so what do I, what do I need for that? What do I do? How many uh, actual, with this setup, how many batteries can I produce and still have sulfur left over to feed the rest of the stuff? So I, you know, made a little setup. It's, again, twice as much as I have in the current factory. So it should produce twice as much uh, stuff. Uh, of course, directly beaconed because, you know, you want to have that efficiency in there. Um, so I hooked this up. And a funny thing, it started producing perfectly, except it was only using a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of the resources I, I was, you know, potentially putting in. So I thought, all right, um, maybe I can make this bigger. So I built this. It's a little bit bigger. Um, and that still left me with acid uh, left over to fill whatever other purpose I had. Um, but I was also outputting almost a, uh, well, a half a belt now, let's say 60 or 70% of a blue belt worth of batteries, which is, you know, quite good. So I thought, you know what, might as well double it, why not? And this actually produces a little over um, a full blue belt of batteries. And it still leaves me with enough acid to feed everything else. So that is basically where I want to go. And probably, you know, put down two of these designs in a single block. So that is how I got to this design. The unfortunate thing is... When I started to build this in my test setup, um, I found that this oil setup was, how do I put this gently? Um, crap. This oil setup or this refinery setup works perfectly. It has the perfect ratio per block. It produces, you know, nice amounts of petrol or petroleum gas. Uh, it converts everything nicely from heavy to light and from light to petrol. It's fine. It's fine for a starter factory and even, you know, if you have two or three of these blocks, it's or these singular blocks, I mean, that's fine for a starter factory and it produces a lot of stuff. But when you're actually starting to talk about these kinds of uh, uh, amounts of oil being used and water, by the way, I need a lot of water as well. Um, then you're going to need a lot more oil. So I'm working on a new design. I've got something. Well, I can't show you just yet because I actually haven't blueprinted it yet. And, you know, I think I don't think. Oh, maybe I did. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Look at that. Uh, I can't do that. Let me see. Yeah. It's a bit tiny because it's... Uh, the picture is a bit tiny because the setup is ginormous. Uh, this is one setup where 20 uh, oil refineries are 
feeding into 20 um, chemical plants, which make f uh, yellow f into, or light oil, let me say it correctly, light oil into petrol. Uh, I have not decided yet what I'm going to be doing with the red because, you know, for perfect ratios, I'd have to add a, a bunch of uh, chemical plants to convert the heavy oil into light oil. I'm not sure I want to do that um, because I like the compactness and the shape of what I have now. And I could use the heavy oil to produce massive amounts of lube which I also knew, need for um, belts of course blue belts and undergrounds and well you know that and we've had an, an issue with um, lube in our main factory well if I hook this up to a lube uh, chemical plant I will never have the problem of lube shortage again so um, Without the actual benefit of perfect ratio conversion with heavy to light oil in there, this setup already, uh, in my test at least, produced 70,000 petrol per petroleum gas per minute. So 70k petroleum gas per minute. Now that's an amount I can work with. That's an amount um, that can actually feed the um well this kind of stuff and the plastics and all the other good stuff um let me see what you're saying watching while eating toast all right well um have a nice breakfast i suppose because toast is usually breakfast can I see how big your map is, Dark Anthurian says. Um, how big the map is? Well, that big. The factory is not covered by the entire map, but um, that's how big it is right now. So I need, let me turn off these things. I need to figure out, because what I actually thought about in the last episode, I think it was the last episode, is that I could do a kind of, how shall I say this? What I do in the um, in the pyramid, I can do in the mega base, where I feed green into red and I use both for blue. So what I actually want to do in the long run, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to do that, you know, in the short term because there's lots of other stuff that needs to be done and cleared out and built before I can actually start thinking about that. Is I can have a green chip factory move that green chip factory over to this side, I have a red chip factory right there instead of there, you know, that's just a copy and paste action as well, and then have a blue chip factory right there, and then, then they can feed into each other, because I'm not allowed to use bots, um, belts will have to do, and I can belt from one into the other, um, I hope, I should be able to, um, what else, what else, what else, what else? I need space to build my stuff. The unfortunate thing is, however, I need a giant oil setup, which I can basically use this area for, which I will definitely be breaking down because I still want to be feeding into this plastic factory. Um, I'm not going to be able to, of course, obviously, move these two oil um, patches, but... Um, I'm hoping that I can just set up an oil train from somewhere else um, and then use that to feed into the new oil setup and then just ignore basically these oil patches because they are not that big. I know I started with an oil patch up here which was 3100 which is after all this time which is still not completely beaconed, but um, has whittled down to a yield of 890%. But that started from 3100. Now, these started significantly lower and have also been also uh, lowered quite a lot. So eventually, I might just have to, re you know, remove all the stuff and just ignore these patches because they are empty. I don't think patches once they are empty fill in again 
um, you drain it, and then it's it drains to a certain point, and it keep it it just remains at that point. Um, the question is: Is this does this uh, oil that I have here uh, amount to enough oil to feed into the new setup? And I don't think it actually does. So we'll have to build a train to somewhere. But in the meantime, I would still like to set up my um, stuff somewhere. My where is it? My battery production. So, I think what I'll start by doing is adding a square there and adding some squares here. Um, and maybe also these ones. So to create some room for myself. Uh, I think that's what I will do because there's actually a lot I want to do. Uh, and I still need to clean that a little bit up. But I can do that during the week. Um, and I want to expand on Three Mile Island as well, uh, because what I've seen of what I've noticed, as you can maybe see right there, the belt to the uh, train station is full, meaning my chests are full. I have no more room to actually uh, get rid of this stuff. Now this process will halt, therefore, um, because I can't output anymore. Eventually this will stop working. Uh, or I could just improve upon my usage of those items. Now at the moment, let me see, if I look at the last, let's say, 10 minutes, I consume about four uranium fuel cells per minute. Um, 3.6, 3.4, let's see if the last hour has... 3.6. In the last hour, I use about 3.6 per minute on average of these uranium fuel cells. But if I look at the last hour of production, um, that is there, I produce about 60. So I could do like 20 times the amount of nuclear power plants before my production gets less than I, what I consume. Um, so yeah, I can I can expand upon my power quite a bit, quite a bit, just with this, uh, just with this tiny setup right there. Oh look, look how pretty that looks. Um, yeah, just with this tiny setup, I can feed twenty times the amount of power that I have right now. So that would be forty of these setups, which is actually, if I think about it, quite ridiculous. But it does show that I have room for growth. Uh, Dark Anthurian asks, hey, you got Discord? No, I ain't got Discord. Uh, well, I haven't got it yet. Some people have been asking about it, and I'm not entirely sure uh, about it because I've never used it. Um, so I have to think about it. I have to check it out. I'd have to see how I can actually integrate that into... Um, my, you know, YouTube life, or, I don't know. So I haven't got that yet. Hooray, research is done. Now, I actually will not be um, researching a little, because I'm now at 28% of mining, so that is quite good. Um, that is quite good. 28% extra is okay. Of course, I want to get to 50 so I can have a 100% boost. Um, first, though, let me get to copper top right. And let me add some... Uh, let's see, Dark Anthurians, can I paste a blueprint for rails? Uh, no, that's not turned on. You cannot paste links to stuff. Um, you can always send it to me through a personal message on YouTube if you want me to take a look at it. Um, so let's let's start by you know making some more room because everything starts with having enough room to actually work. And since we have decided, wait, where is it? 
There it is. Oh, I should have known that. Uh, that was now. That one is now correct. Um, let me see. Let me see. Because we because we decided as a group to use this uh, these squares as a setup for you know where we are going to build our stuff, which I really like, by the way. Um, Am I not going to get eaten? No, these were far away, uh, far enough away, probably. Uh, so I'll just make some more room first. Right, that was a long and convoluted way to say, let's build rail. Because this is quite a nice empty spot, I believe. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, but I need, haha, but I need more copper smelting as well. I need to make sure that I don't forget about that. Oh, what, is, what are you saying? Got Twitch. How to what? PM. How to PM. Um, how to PM on YouTube? Uh, you can go to my channel. Um... And I think if you click on my name or next to it, you can send a personal message. I'm not entirely sure. I've never... Well, I've done it once before. Um, let me check. Hmm. There is a way to send personal messages. Whoops. Uh, to um, people on YouTube. Just Google it, man. Just Google it. You'll 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 be able to find out. It ain't that hard. So, right. Uh, this block I cannot use, and apparently I don't have enough rail with me anyway. Where's my train? My train's up there. Let me drive. Let me have my train drive over here, so I don't have to walk all the way back. Um, if you hear some noise in the background, by the way. Uh, that's actually my uh, washing machine going into its uh, final si uh, spin cycle. That actually makes a, l a little bit of noise, so I hope that's not too distracting. Um, it should die down quite quite soon. What was I doing? I was trying to get a train over here, right. Got distracted there by the sound. Um, I want my train to come here. I don't care. It's going to Infuso. That's fine. Where's my train? You go to Infuso. Thank you. Um, until empty, I suppose. Yeah, go. Let's not stand on the track. That's not good for my health. Of course, that never happened, but, you know, just in case. And there's my lovely, lovely train. Um, you don't go to automatic. You go away. Let's grab that. And let me try something else. Let me try something else if I can. If, if I can. Uh, nope. What was his name? I can't remember. Somebody, somebody in the, um, oh, Johnny, Johnny Mallon. Said, why don't you put place down blueprints whoa, from your uh, from the map view? So I thought, well, at least I could try that. Yeah, that's actually not a terrible, terrible idea. Look at that. That's um, of course I still have to go there to actually place the stuff. Uh, if that would move there, then then that would become that one. And this will open up for me to make batteries. Hmm. And acid, of course. Um. So maybe I should be doing that. So many choices, so many decisions to be made. I want this to be there as well.
Okay, cool. Uh, Flo Dark and Therian says the uh, blueprint book. You've sent me the blueprint book for rails, and you made them all. Well, I'll have a look at it uh, later on and uh, see if I if there's something I, uh, that I can actually use. Thank you for that. Thank you. So, first things first. Let me get into my train. Uh, I'm doing this bit manually because, yeah, I thought so. I don't want to lose any robots on the way. As I thought I might get in. Thank you. Now, I should go to... should go to steel. So, private steel is there. Because I want to know if my... Um, Sorry, I, I, I'm thinking about all the things that I have to do. Um, so I want to know if my if the patch of uranium ore that was in the iron smelting section over here is done. And I know I can check it like that, but you know, 3.9 is fine. But I added some speed modules to this, and then if I if they are not being used anymore, yeah, that's what I thought. I want to put them in. Stuff that's actually still working. Now I'm not removing these mines because they also are miners. Sorry, these electric drills because they also function as um, pipes for any drills that might still need it. Then again, none of this is working anymore, so I could remove this, and I'm removing it in this fashion from left to right. Because that forces all the fluid that is in the uh, miner or pipe um, back up to the um, to this section. There we go. So we'll grab this because we we don't need that anymore. Uh, we'll leave that because we need the power. We can remove that, of course, and then just have that go that way. I don't want this, so thank you very much. Let's, whoops, that went on to the wrong track. Thank you. Let's make sure it does not this time. Do I have any that are working without? Yes, I do, so we can get this stuff f out faster. Are any, uh, any uh, others? Nope. All right, so that should speed up the process quite a bit, quite a bit indeed. Um, oh, and I'm full up on this stuff, and I still have... How much do I still need to clear out? Oh, wait, a little bit higher. 3.5, so that's two chests, yes? That should be two chests. And then I can just, oops, start feeding it back in from here. Uh, boop, like that. So that is 5,000. Well, 4,800. Um, so that's more than there is in the patch. Is this in the way? No, I don't think it is. So we can leave that, which is fine. And then finally we can finish this setup. That would be great. Um, you know what? I'm going to send my train to stuff because I'm going to need more rail. Uh, let's see, stuff, there we go, and I think I might as well just start moving stuff already, because that's basically what I have to do anyway, get rid of my wood, oh, you're not putting it in here, okay, that's fine, hmm, How many rail do I have? 400. Yoink. Mine. That's full. I can stick that in there. Is this my rail requester? Yes, it is. So that will be f filled automatically, which is fine. Oh, I can look. I can have a look at. So accumulators use batteries as well. And, well, lasers. I really don't care about lasers. So, we'll leave that for what it is. And, oh yes, of course. Oh, but I can't use those. 
not allowed to use those, so unfortunately I don't have the need for those. So basically I'm producing batteries purely for the um, research side because I'm probably not ever going to be using accumulators again because I have nuclear power and as, I, as we just saw we can use a lot of nuclear power with the um, amount of um, what are they called again fuel cells yes thank you fuel cells that we are producing um, I'm not going to be needing robots because I'm not allowed to you know and the few that are allowed for fuel and stuff I can build here which is fine and um, lasers well yeah no biters no lasers basically or no hostile biters I should say all right um, that leaves only research because this is the only path that shoots off in this direction Batteries go there and there. Nowhere else. All right. Makes perfect sense to me. So all that battery production should go into research later on. Cool. Um, yeah, I need... I need my train... And I'll go to green chips. Now, it's actually a dilemma in my head going on right now. And I'll try and explain why and what it is, if I can at least. Wait, what are you? Ah, okay, so oh, this is not even done yet, okay. Well, let's lose those last five speeds. You know, why not? Oh, and I, and I still have a couple of those, so we can lose those as well. And by those, of course, I mean production. Uh, productivity modules? Yes, productivity modules. Okay, so what was I thinking about? What is my dilemma? Well, um, there's, just, there's a couple of things I have to do. They're going to take a quite an amount of time and they're not that you know interesting or maybe not I don't know maybe they are you decide I need a lot of oil so I need a new oil patch uh, because of the new oil setup I have one here which is 1500 which is not that great I have one up here which is ugh, only nine eight nothing up there Nine, five and a half thousand. And it's got nice, well, it's got an iffy <laughs> iron and uh, co uh, copper patch. It has a nice stone patch, though. Um, I mean, this is the real stuff. 18 million right there and 11 million, well, it's going to grow. Right there, so th those patches are very nice to, to see. Uh, but this is going to be awesome. This is going to be my next mm, oil patch. Uh, and it basically all starts with oil. So maybe I should just start doing that first, right? But that means I'd have to finish designing it. Do you mind if I finish my... Um, oil design on stream. I know it's uh, it's going to be a bit boring, maybe, but I hope I hope not. I hope not. Uh, at the moment, I'm not using any any of this oil. Um, at least I don't think I am. There's only a few of these things firing. What am I using oil for at the moment? Uh, to fill this? Well, that's filled up. I am using. I am producing this, so I have to make sure that I keep that in mind. Oops, second spin cycle is starting. Um, I have to keep that in mind. See, because I need a lot. See, this is what I mean. I need a lot more uh, petroleum to keep this going, because this is just 
it's not being fed it's not if this is uh, fully f uh, fully fed and producing enough petroleum to actually feed all of this then these would be full belts but they are not <sighs> which is annoying also I've noticed a giant issue um, with uh, well flow rate in general you know pipes are stupid things they have no idea where which direction um, they should flow in or they don't the biggest problem I think this system has the current uh, flow system has so pipes and uh, uh, tanks and all that stuff is it has no idea of the stuff that's beside it they are separate entities working separate jobs and this leads to the following I had the setup that I just showed you um, which I still have to work on because it's not finished uh, and I have one I did not use any tanks because that just ruined the entire setup <clears throat> um, so I just had one long row of pipes uh, with a pump at the end just to force everything out and still still I have no idea uh, why um, these pipes were empty the first few because you know they got sucked dry but these were full and all my um, chemical plants that were producing petroleum gas were not doing anything because they couldn't export their product because these pipes were just not emptying out um, the chemical plants that were in front of it produced enough where the um, the pipes backed up basically which I find really strange um, if there's a hundred in a pipe or the uh, fill amount of the pipe or a section of pipe is uh, is a maximum of 100 100 where a pump can have a maximum of 200 if that pump starts emptying out this pipe you would assume at least I would assume that all the pipes behind it would start flowing in that direction at a rate of if you're producing enough of a hundred going that way going to the right that doesn't work however that does not happen um, it fills out or it empties out uh, this pipe and then it starts emptying out that pipe because that pipe then overflows into that one and that you know cascades down backwards but at such a slow flow rate that by the time you get halfway the pipes are full and nothing can get out which I don't understand why that is streaky toaster 9 says hello welcome to the stream streaky toaster 9 HSF Clayman says have you thought about coal liquid coal liquidification somewhere yes I have and um, I've built a design for that I haven't got that in my book yet no I haven't got that I've built a design for that and thought you know that's what I'm going to be using for um, lubri uh, lubrication production because it produces a little bit more heavy oil than it actually uses uh, I think it's 20 to 30 so it takes it uses 20 no it uses let me think about this it uses 20 heavy oil and some water and you know normal oil I think or coal rather duh and then that becomes pet petroleum and 30 heavy oil or something like that I can't remember the exact wait I can look at I can look that up shouldn't I be able to look that up if I am I on a map yes I was in a map I will quickly try and figure that out if I'm allowed wait uh, I've got no chemical plants near me. Darn it. Uh, I want to know now, because now I'm, I'm frustrated that I don't know. Um, dark enthusiasm. Ah, okay. <laughs> you had me scared there for a second, Dark Enthurian. You said, hi, toaster. And I almost thought you were saying I was a Cylon, because I just happened to play... Um, Battlestar Galactica last night, the board game, 
and there was a lot of accusing uh, going uh, going on. And I indeed was a toaster at the time, so they were actually right. But you know, don't tell them that. Um, so Clayman says thirty. Hey, okay, twenty-five to thirty-five. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that answer. Um, yeah, so it produces a little bit more heavy oil than it actually takes in. So you can, once you have enough going, you can use the runoff, the extra, to produce uh, free lube. Um, so what was I doing when I got distracted by all of that? Uh, coal, uh, coal liquefaction. Uh, yeah, coal liquefaction is, however, no longer a factor that I need. Um... It is something to put coal into, yes, uh, but I'll probably do that a lot later, uh, simply because I found a better, or well, not maybe not a better way to get lube, um, but an easier way with the setup that I have. Now, let's not get distracted anymore. I would like to. Yeah, I'm going to halt production on my plastics uh, for obvious reasons because I'm going to be killing this setup of oil and I want to start a new setup. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, let's see. That means, well, we're, well, we are using red chips. In my uh, that has to work. That has you know that must not be a uh, limiting factor. Right, I need to clean up this area because. Um, Let's start by removing all of this. Uh, that's the intake oil, so let's leave that. This is my intake water, so let's get rid of that. Um, what I'll do, because I think that's actually the smartest way to do it, if I just, um, I think I had it like that. Nope, that was too low. Something, something, I don't really care. Okay, so this should now empty out any oil and water that is in the system. Uh, I'm not feeding in any other water, am I or am I? I don't know. Let me check. No, this is clean from this side. Of course, I need to unhook that. So any oil that is in there can still go away. Um, I'll unhook that as well. So now any oil or petrol that is still in the system can uh, be pumped towards the plastics. Um, yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, that's correct. Yes, that's correct. That is correct. This is still pushing it that way when it's... You see, it's not pushing anything right now. Why is it not pushing anything? Because this is full. And this is empty. How? Okay, so that's my fault. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, that should. Okay. Empty out, emptied out. So that's flowing. And did I make the same mistake here? Okay, so that was my mistake. There was an explanation for that one. So we'll not complain about that. But still, it could be better. It could be a lot better. And maybe I maybe I need to change this design as well. Maybe I just need to figure out a better way to get, you know, uh, petrol in here. Because obviously, um, flow rate is not enough. You can't rely on flow rate. Look at that; it's almost empty here. How can that be? If I have 500, okay, so it's emptying out quite fast, but there's still a thousand in there. There's a thousand in there. I don't understand. They should empty out communicating uh, vessels, or how do you say that in English anyway? Communicating uh, barrels is what we would say in Holland. 
determine that everything should empty out evenly. And yet it doesn't. We see that it doesn't. Oh well. So let's wait for that to empty out and remove all that lovely, lovely petrol. It is going quite fast, I think. Yeah, that's going quite fast. So that's good. Um, and then we won't be able to produce any more plastics. But that's fine. Because we will have a better setup after that. Uh, what I need to do is utilize this stuff. Um, what do I do first? What do I do first? Do I set up my new setup first? Or do I get oil first? Because that's a lot of cleanup that I have to do of, uh, of the biter braces that are there. Uh, I'll start with the setup process first. Because, you know, why not? Uh, this is now no longer hooked up. I'll remove that just to be a little bit more clean. This is almost empty out. Yeah, this is almost emptied out. Um, this is good that it's nighttime, so I can see any flames popping up. I think all the oil has been drained, at least far enough for me to get that out. Does that help if I... Yeah, okay. So if I remove one of these, all the oil gets pushed back into the system. So I'll cl um, carefully remove that. So we can use the oil to produce a little bit more petroleum gas. That's not doing anything. And these are connected, so that's fine. Uh, you can go away. You can go away. Oh, wait, that is now producing. So we we'll wait for that to stop like that. OK, and we start pushing oil back into the system. You know what? I'll push all of this oil. Hopefully that works that way. And it seems to be. Oh, that seems to work just fine, actually. Uh, okay, so I'll remove that. Pushing more into the system. I'll remove that. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. So I can also remove that. Probably up there now. I just don't like wasting any stuff, so that's why I did it like this. Um, don't actually need this, so I can push that back into the system. Don't need this, so we can push that back into the system. See, then that starts working perfectly. That starts working. Remove a little bit more. That is now working, so we can remove these two. And then I'll add one pump to the last one to make sure that I drain all the heavy oil from the system. Um, that is now working. Very nice. We'll push these back. Then we'll push these back. I think I can just take this out now. I hope I can. So that's working. Not anymore, so I can remove it. Remove that one. That keeps working. Remove that one. Remove that one. Okay, so now, how do I... Whoops. Um, what's the best way to do this? Let's go like that. Remove that. Um, add a pump. I should have those here. Push that out and push that in. Um, wait, where did I push it to? <laughs> um, I should go like that. I think I emptied it out. I'm not entirely sure, though. But it's good enough for me. Um, what if I... Oh, that's a pipe. I meant to do that. 
But if I go like that, that should force everything in here and give me one more little squeeze of... Look at that. That's actually perfect. That's See how weird flow rate works? There's something wrong, man. So I hope I can squeeze out enough for one more push of um, this refinery. But it doesn't look like it, and I don't want to actually wait for that. So there we go. Um, these should all be empty out quite easily, I think. Yeah, I think we can just give up now. I believe that there is a little bit more to be squeezed out of this setup. But I also don't want to take forever to do this. So, you know what? There we go. Bye-bye. Now I need a place to store my stuff because I've got way too much. Uh, do I still have my train with me? I think I do. Let's get rid of this. Oh, where's my train? Oil refinery, please. Thank you. I need to put my stuff somewhere. Another spin cycle. Okay. There they are. Hello. Um, you can go and, uh, I don't know, you can go and all of you can go. Don't care about you. Not doing that right now so I can remove you. Uh, we're not doing that at the moment. We're never doing that. Not doing that. Can remove that. Don't need that. Okay, so that should provide us with some room to remove this and put down the new one. I hope it fits though. I haven't I haven't tried that out, actually. Uh, let's get rid of all of this piping. Ooh, not the lights. Thank you. Uh, like that. All right. That should. Uh, wait. Why is there? Why are there loose pipes here? That's strange. Um, my battery should work fine. Yeah. Look at that. Keeps everything nice and fully loaded. I like that a lot. I'm not using that, so I can remove that as well. You can move that. Move up a little. See? Battery is working perfectly to keep all the robots uh, juiced. I like that. So that's my input of crude. So I mustn't remove that. I may may need to I may need to uh, move it. I can't remove it, of course. There we go. Remove all of this. It was fun while it lasted, but we need something better. How full are we? We are getting quite full, actually. Before I have no more room, I want to build one wagon. Oh, I already had wagons. Never mind. Because if I run out, run out of space, I want to have somewhere to put it. And I might as well put it at the end of my train. There we go. Uh, I'm full. Okay. So I'm sorry if this is a bit boring, but I think I really need to do this. So that's why I'm doing it. Uh, just to improve all future endeavors. Okay. Uh, plastic just to open that up and then go like that. Awesome. I can remove all of that. This is my crude. No, that is my crude, so I can remove that. I think I'll change this as well. So I'll remove it for now, so I can think about it later. 
And so we only have this little bit left here. Well, that's good. Now, where is my... Did I take that out already? No, I did not. This is my new oil setup. All right. Um, it does seem to fit, so I'm very happy about that. Now, I need to think about... Wait, what is that? Oh, that's my crude. I need to remove that thing there. Um, I need to think about which direction I want this stuff to go. But, you know, because flow is such a stupid thing in this game. Well, at least that's what I found out um, during testing. Especially, well, you know, if you have a small setup, it works fine. Because you don't really notice the issues that arise because it never gets to that point. But when you start building really big, like really big, um, you get these weird anomalies happening. And Well, I've just talked about it, so you know what I mean. But it's, um, it's strange. It's very strange. If I were to... Can I make this fit? No, I can, probably cannot. I wish I had a little bit... Wait. Does this deliver... Me? No, this does not give me more view. This actually gives me less view. Uh, and I don't want to use the Lua to do this. Oh yeah, I have nowhere near enough space to do it in this direction. Look at that. Not even close. Um, uh, Dark Anthurian, I have not yet checked your stuff out. I'm actually live streaming at the moment, so I haven't had time. Um, so let me, let me... I have to do this, right? I have to do it like this. Um, does that make sense? Yeah, because I can't... Oops, that's not rotate. I can't. I can't fit it like this. Although I could fit it there quite easily, actually. But what about the rest? Because I, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. Why does that fit and that doesn't? Aren't those things the same size? Apparently they aren't. Hang on. That's weird. That is weird. This should be one smaller, shouldn't it? Oops. Yeah, look at that. I can make this. Uh, no, I cannot. I cannot, because then that... Let me try. Can I now remove that? Whoops, not that one. So that works, but probably... Yeah, that doesn't. Okay, so I was mistaken. Sorry. I was mistaken. I'll admit it. I'll go from there to... I did it again. Um, to there, and it does need to be that big. That's unfortunate. Let me connect that one back up. All right, cool. So the only option I have at the moment... Where's my design? Is going like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I need room... I need room for... Input, of course. Uh, water and crude. So I want to shift it actually to this side as much as I can. Then I also want to have it a little bit lower. Um, I can utilize that. If I go like this, that should be fine. But then... The question arises, can I add two more of these? Because I actually would like to have two more of these. Uh, 
Uh, I need to get a lot of stuff out of my train. Let me out. Thank you. Uh, where did I leave my... There they are. Awesome. So man, how many did I have? I had 80, right? So I should be able... Well, that doesn't really matter because it's the efficiency that counts of the number that you have. So I might have less refineries but if they act better if they produce more then that's the, the the thing that actually counts so we have this setup right now I want them to place these last two there this one and the other should not be too far behind I'm very happy with this battery by the way it, Look at how fast everything loads up. Hang on, I still have lots of these, and why is this not? Oh, wait. <laughs> Never mind. Those are. Wait, where are my. Oh, right. I had no beacons at this setup, so I did not get any back. So I'll have to do that a little bit later. Because I have lots of, of beacons already built, so that is not an issue. Okay, so all I'm missing now is one, two, three, four, five chemical plants. Let me see um, what the next setup will look like, because I can combine these. That would be awesome. So that means I can only have two of these. Well, that's 140,000 petroleum gas per minute. That should be able to feed lots and lots and lots of stuff. Um, of course, I have to figure out how to actually get it somewhere. Um, because, whoops. I might as well turn this around, by the way. Yeah, if I turn this around, I have two outputs in the middle. That's actually quite good. That's actually quite good. Um, yeah, let me place that down. Now, I'm probably not going to be able to fit another one in there, right? Nah, not even close, man. Not even close. Uh, I'll always be able to walk there because I don't have those things. Let me quickly get a new blueprint out and add this to that. So this is a twofer. All right. Because maybe if we can only place two, then I want to have it a little bit more centralized. Because um, that just makes for a nicer look. Let's be honest, we all want a nicer look. Um, that is, yeah, okay, cool. Where is, is the, um, that's my second, yeah, that's it. Um, I need a lot of room on that side, I need a lot of room on that side. So let's make sure we have lots and lots of it. That seems centralized, doesn't it? Yeah, that's fine. So now they can place down stuff while they pick it up. Awesome. Okay, so we have... We need to figure out how to get... How to get that... Um, well, we could drain it from both sides. That should help, though, shouldn't it? Just put a, a pump on both outlets. Uh, that one goes there, that one goes there. Yeah, so we can put a pump on both outlets. Um, and that should, in theory, keep us from being um, having one side being flooded.
feed one side to plastic and one, fi one side to batteries and acid. Yeah, that seems a, seems a good way to do that. bit so I now have 40 of these um, oil refineries okay are we empty yet oh we almost are I think that's it I think we are, well, we are without undergrounds. We, we have some pipes still, so we can put those down. And power, I see some power going down, which is good. Now everything's done. Now we are done. All right, cool. Wait for my robots to return and then go back to the train and get some more stuff. Because we need a lot, a lot of... Let me get out of here. Thank you. Um, chemical plants. Yes. We don't need you anymore. Thank you very much. Can I get... Oh, I already, already took all of them out. Is there anything else I need where I can use that? Um, there's nothing else I need right now. I don't think. No, I just need a lot of chemical plants and pipes. Let me get uh, thou, those and those. Let's see how far we can get with these. And of course, we still need to pick up a lot of uh, beacons. Not to mention the amount of modules this thing eats, because that's absolutely ridic ridiculous. You know what? It's all for a good cause. And I still have a lot of modules to put in there and in there, so... That is the way it goes, I think. Hang on, why is this not filled in? That's confusing. Ah, I did not probably place them because of... Okay, so, well, that's an easy fix. That is an easy fix. We can just go like this. Whoop. Done. And done. Right? Yeah, I think so. Underground, underground, underground. Yeah, that's good. And we can start with an unbeacon setup. I mean... That should not be a problem. Uh, did I lose? Yes, I did. Let's put that there and that there. Perfect. Is that it? Oh, I still have some undergrounds to be placed. Let me pick up some more. Just to make sure. Um, you know what? Let's pick them all up and we'll see what's left at the end. Of course, they are going to be less than I had. Because, you know... I placed half of the um, refineries in here, so obviously I'm going to be using less, which is a good thing, actually. This is a pump that pumps in water, so that is actually a useful thing. Let me just cross down the middle, well, middle-ish, to see if there's no more undergrounds. So, okay. So, yeah, a lot of beacons and a lot of uh, modules, but that's to be expected. We can get rid of that. Uh, why am I stuck? Okay. I uh, don't want any of this anymore. All right, cool. 
So we can add a second one of these setups somewhere else if we ever need it, but I, ha I hardly doubt it. Uh, we don't actually need these anymore, so we can have a chemical train. And uh, yeah, so I think we'll do that. Steam engines. Why do I have steam engines? We can get rid of steam engines because we're never using those again. Like so. Uh, same goes for the boilers. Oh yeah, I cleaned up that area, didn't I? Um, I'll keep that because I can use it somewhere else. Uh, I need my lasers because I need to clean the area where the oil patch is. So that is important. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Wait, what are you doing? Really? I just walked everything. Okay, I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, yeah, I think I'll crude, get my crude oil over here first. Um, just because... I can decide where to stick it. Um, then again, you know what? It doesn't really matter. This pump, though, this is water pump. That's nice. Uh, but does that also feed into the rest of the system? It feeds into this system. So I need water from both sides. So I think I'll just use half of this train to feed this side and half of the train to feed the other side. I think that is the best way to do it. Uh, that means I have to go up here for the first one and then the second one we can... Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, oh, I can just feed it in from here, can't I? I don't need to feed it in from the literal other side. Uh, pump, 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 thank you. Um, I think I'll just go like that. Yeah, why not? That's inside the power area of this thing. Which is not connected, but yeah, that is inside. So, that just leaves this. So that's one half. Awesome. Now the other one is actually quite easy. We go and we kill. Yep. And then we go there and around the bend. Oh, that doesn't reach. Uh, I knew that. There we go. Uh, not quite the middle. I can't get it in the middle. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so that should fill up my entire factory with water. Which it doesn't because it's not powered yet. Of course, so the pumps are not running. And I should also remove the pump from the other side. Hooray. Let's see. Uh, click, click, done. That feeds into that. That feeds into there. Awesome. Now... Crude oil, um, I could just... Hmm. I want to avoid tanks as much as I can. Because uh, they just funk everything up. So I think what I'll do... Is I'll get a pipe going this way. Uh, crude oil pipe. A little bit further. Yeah, somewhere around here. This is the other crude oil area. And what I'll do is I'll just feed in um, crude oil from this side through this um, setup right there. So that's all the patches on that side. And then we'll have... Oh, I just missed it. That's unfortunate. So we'll feed in oil from this side. Now that's never going to be enough to feed all of this stuff. Not even close, by the way. Um, let me see if I can find a nice spot for this. 
that does feed both. Can I? That oh no, I can't. What? That's nice. Okay, so that fires up everything, of course. Well, it can't output it too much until those are full. Uh, that is what it is. Hang on, why is this? Ah. I was wondering why this side wasn't working. So that fills up that. And of course, as soon as either petrol or red uh, or heavy oil fills up. Um, wait, why is that there? That does not need to be there. Uh, this setup will stop working because we are not doing anything with that just yet. But it is working quite nicely, and I'm happy to see that. Can we move that? That makes no sense. Is that correct, what I'm saying? Did I do anything wrong? I fed water into there. I fed oil into there. I will be feeding more oil in from the other side. Of course, I have not finished... I don't think I have. Uh, yeah, I have not put any speed beacons in there. Do I have any speed beacons with me? No, I do not. So I haven't finished that setup yet. And I have not even begun to finish this setup yet. So there's a lot more oil that could come in here. But in the end, let's be honest, we just need a new train station to feed in a lot of crude oil. It's quite simple, actually. Right. Uh, that means I do now have the ability to hook up this side of the oil as well. Um, can I reach just beyond? Yes, I can. How awesome. So I want to go down, and I'm coming from there. All right. We shall run this down. Okay. Maybe not. I need some undergrounds. Please. Oh, one stack should do it. I'm not going that far. Um, let's see. There we go. Oh, a little bit too far. This one hooks into there. This one hooks into there. Okay, so that is awesome. Ah, we are full already, I am assuming, with either petrol or... No. Okay, so there's just not enough pressure coming in. Okay. That makes sense. That, make perfect, that makes perfect sense. Wait, why is this not outputting? That does not make sense, however. Whoa, I'm missing a lot of connections. That is not good. Why am I missing those connections, though? Am I missing any other? No. No, 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 no. Let me check this side. Because I might just be missing these connections as well. Yes, I am. How did that happen? Well, must, it must be in my... I told you my design wasn't entirely finished yet. So I must have missed some of this stuff when I was building it. Well, it's con it's good now, so not too worried about it. Um, and now we're probably getting to this side. The yeah, that's good. It can hardly. Is it full already? Oh, it's full already. Okay, so that goes quite fast, as I said, and that's even without beacons. So, hmm. Um, we can, however, now. The little... Uh, no, we're not. We cannot. Sorry. I was getting ahead of myself. I thought we could use that petrol to feed into plastics, but as soon as the red or the heavy oil fills up, um, yeah, that's going to be a problem. That is going to be a problem. So we don't want to have a problem, so we will not create one. If that makes any sense. And if it doesn't, well, you know... Stuff happens. 
And that's the crude oil from that side that we can feed in. Um, so that's good. Should I? I should add a pump to this, shouldn't I? So it doesn't create any flow back. Because I really don't want that. Like that. Um, I think I'll just add this one here because we can do that safely. So that feeds it now there. I should do the same from this side. So I prevent flow back here as well. Everything should just be forced into this factory or this uh, chemical plant. Oh, no power? Did I just? Oh, I missed it by a tiny fraction. Um, you know what? I'll just feed it like this. I'll just feed it like that. All right. Now we still have to decide what we're doing with the red. Or sorry, the I keep saying red. I need to say heavy oil. That makes a lot more sense. Because uh, we have a lot of it. And this setup as it is, so without converting uh, heavy oil to light oil, already produces, as I said, 70,000 per uh, row, uh, petrol, uh, petroleum gas, I mean, 70,000 per, per, per row. So that hmm, should, in theory, be enough to not have to convert this. Um, so we can use that to make lubrication. But we also need room to do that. Let me check. Okay. Well, we can have a lube train station there. Or we can just... Yeah, no, that's the best thing to do, just to have a lube train station, because we're probably not going to be using it that much. So, all right. Um, let me just check something out real quick. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, so, uh, no, I don't want to name it something. Should I? No, I shouldn't. Let's get to the other side. Do I have some? No, let me get some chemical plants so I can actually start designing something. Do I have? Yes, I do. Okay, cool. How shall we do this? I mean, we can easily make all of this red go into one pipe and then we need to figure out how many we need that should not be too hard actually let me think if we make if we take the normal setup which is this one well that's a big setup this has one two three four five Wait, two, four, six, seven. So this has uh, one uh, changer, um, one, four, seven. Okay. So if we have 20, which we have right there, we get technically 21 would be three. Um, we have a little less than that. But I guess that doesn't really matter. Um, we can do two beaconed and productivity moduled. Would that help? Or no, that's still not enough, isn't it? Because this is also beaconed and stuff, so the same amount would apply. So yeah, I'm going to do three. Uh, I'm going to do three in the middle, because why not? Uh, I need to make sure that I have enough. Room for water, oil, and any space that I might need. So I'll do four spaces. All right. And then the middle is about this. Oops. About there. 
No, it should be a little bit higher, right? Yeah, it should be a little bit higher. Let me quickly do that so I can fiddle around with the spacing. Um, that's that one. Ah, can't get to the exact middle. That's unfortunate. We'll take the lower one. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four. Let's say four. That's a nice number. Okay, we'll convert that. I need to turn that around. I think that would be the easiest thing. And then I can output this to there. Yeah. So we can feed that into that. We can feed it into both sides. Uh, do I have enough room for beacons? Do I even have beacons? No, I do not. I need to get some beacons. Um, we can go like that. Please remember, this is all experimental because I am just now testing all of this out. So we can go like that. That sh should be fine, yes. Um... Uh, Yes, we can just go like that. Is there enough room for beacons even? Let me get some beacons out of the factory because I need to start measuring with that. Let's go to stuff. Wait, how is that? Uh, we need to change this order. How's my fuel doing, by the way? Uh, oh, that's fine. That is mostly fine. That will last me quite a while. Oh, well, that's giving me more of that stuff. Yeah, that's fine. Um, what was I doing? I was collecting something. I was collecting beacons. Yes. So, we are over here. Uh, you know what? Grab all of them. Why not? Why not? Are you done? You're done. All right, cool. Let's go back to oil refinery. Yeah, that's actually good. And I, what I want to do is get rid of my... If I'm fast... Oh gosh, I hope I'm fast enough. That. Where did it just go? Did it just use a station to get here faster? I think it did. I think it just actually used this station to get to here. That's an interesting concept. Never seen it do that before. Honestly, I don't care. Uh, if it's that, if that's the fastest way, then I'm happy that it uses that. Okay. Um, back to designing a new part of the factory. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. Okay, cool. Let's start as far away as I can. This one does nothing, so I don't actually need it to be that wide. Uh, I can use that. That is the maximum amount, maximum amount of... Uh, oh, I don't have my robots. Uh, yeah, that's for a good reason, otherwise I won't be able to do this. Um, this is the maximum amount I can actually have. So if I just center that, that should be fine. I can't actually get it strictly centered, so that is good. Now all I need... Oh, I can do the other side as well, of course. Uh, like... Oh, let me get my pipes in first. Um, water and that and the heavy oil. Uh, I can just skip everything and just go for beacons right away. Uh, like that. Power-wise, I think I'm good. Um, if I just... Yeah, well, I can just go like this. That's not a problem. That's fine. If, uh, that's fine. Now, water would be... Oh, I need to figure out if I'm not blocking anything. I don't think I am. 
and then we can shift the heavy oil. Yes, I am. I am blocking that, so we can't do that. Um, what if I just... What if I just go like this? And then... This would go there. So if we keep this at that same distance like so um, this would be the heavy oil coming from downstairs and upstairs and then we need to figure out how to get water in here but that should not be a problem should it yeah because I cannot actually get this across there okay okay I'll stick water out a little bit further then uh, rotate that, rotate that, get this connected and get, oops, that connected, it's a little bit of a squeeze, but um, we will get lubrication from coal liquefaction, because then we'll have a little bit of a more perfect setup here, and I like that. I like that a lot. Um, we, can I show? Can I shift that? If I shift that, uh, it doesn't really matter. I can just go like that. And like that. Alright, so that seems correct. Um, of course, we still need to feed in this uh, this is the heavy oil this is unfortunate oh well I guess we'll have to do it like that otherwise it seems a bit wasteful to have that there and we're going to have to steer this one right the other side um, Can I even get to there? No, I cannot. So we'll have to have a little wonky bend in there. Well, that's fine. We can live with that. Well, I can live with that. If that is what it takes, then that is what it takes. Cool. All right. So we've done almost everything now, uh, with the exception of water, I believe. But... That should be quite good. Or quite easy, I mean. Sorry. Uh, can we skip the entire thing? No, we cannot. Now this thing is in the way. Mm. Okay. That is very unfortunate. By the way, this strange bend does not need to be there. That is a leftover from another era. Uh, as a matter of, Well, we can leave that. That's fine. But what I'll do to make my life a little bit more easy is skip it down one. And now I can just skip this entire thing. Uh, of course, I want to go there. Which, oh, I can't do that just yet because I have not got any robots until I'm done designing. Should I feed this in from both sides as well? Uh, probably not. I mean... Would that be an issue? Water would be coming from there. You know what? It doesn't matter. It's not that hard of a thing to do. So why not get it done? This one would come from there. There we go. Everything's now mixed. And this is working Awesomely. Now that I'm draining that, I should... Well, this is, of course, still full. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. But now that we are using that, now that we've fa finally finished... Well, semi-finished this area, um, we can start feeding in... 
petroleum to that side again and have plastic be a thing we can use again. Um, okay, so how do we do that? How do we do that? We can output petroleum gas to there and we can output petroleum gas. Let me make sure that's the same length. Yes, it is. Hmm. I'm, for now, I'm going to be using the same pipes that I've already laid down earlier. Um, simply because the convenience of it. I don't want to spend too much time today at least on perfecting something that I cannot change at the moment. So that should start that process again and it should start plastics again. Yeah, perfect. Awesome. Very nice. Um, so let's feed in the second one as well. Oh, okay, no more undergrounds. So I needed a little bit more than I expected. That is feeding into there, that is feeding into there, that is perfect. And they are connected, yes, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to run everything through in my head. Um, we are here. Just, you know what, yeah, no, we're gonna, we're gonna do it like this. Okay, so that feeds in the, into the second half of this factory. Again, it's not perfect because, as you can see, you know, flow rates still are not the best. But, to be honest, I'm very glad that this is actually flowing again. Wait, why is the second half not flowing? Because I did not connect it. I'm very glad that it's actually flowing again. So we can, you know, keep that train running. Uh, can I? How am I doing without beacons? Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to go to fluids, of course. Um, how am I doing without beacons? Without beacons, it's about 80,000 per minute. Wait, how's that? Oh, that's probably also the other factory that's still running. Maybe not, because that's a tiny thing. Huh. Okay, so it's now down to 60. Yeah, I don't have enough income to keep that up, and it was backed up probably, so that's why it was a little higher than it than I expected. Um, oh, no, it's quite a bit lower, of course, because it's, it's supposed to be 140. So... Yeah, I definitely need those beacons. But I'm glad to see that this works. So. Um, I'm not going to pump this out. Because I also want to, the, to utilize the other side of that. Um, maybe I can show that happening. Well, no, because I'm not actually producing it fast enough. We'll get to that later. All right, now let me get rid of these beacons. There we go. Are you keeping up? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. That is fine. I have a, a few more beacons to get rid of. I would like to get out of these pipes, please. Thank you. No more beacons, no more beacons. Okay, so that is the setup we are going to be working with. Let's not get killed, okay. And it's going to take a heck of a long time for this to actually be finished. Uh, just because of all the modules I'm going to be needing. Um, but, you know, in the long run, this is what we need to do to get towards um, a big research setup. And eventually a nice um, nice rocket setup as well. So that's what we are trying to do at least. 
All right. On to the next. Um, what I would like to do now is prepare for something else, and that is getting rid of this. Ooh, hang on. Whilst I am thinking about it, yeah, I know I'm running and not using a train, but yeah, it's fast enough. Um, this is completely gone. That is very pleasing to me. Uh, let's see, we can actually start getting rid of this stuff. Why is there... Ah, okay. So we can actually have this setup working properly. Perfect. Let's do the same on this side. Force all the fluid back into the pipe. For as, you know, as long as it actually will let me. Because it's almost fully stuffed. Almost. Let's just, uh, you know what, I don't care about this last bit of fluid if it does not work the way I think it does. Um, get rid of that. So all the acid is now going that way. Okay. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of all of this. This is probably part of the setup that I'm going to be placing down anyway, so we'll leave that. We'll leave that. We can take that. I think that's it. I think if I now grab my... Uh, nope, it's supposed to be in here, I think. Um, blue belt, belt. This is a loading station, and I need an unloading station. Thank you very much. One time unloading, four times unloading. Thank you. Hang on, where do I stick it? Uh, okay, so I have two of these. Am I going insane or is this does this not fit? No, it fits perfectly. Uh, that needs to stay there. Okay, perfect. And then we can just... Um, Set that up like this. Something does not quite add up, but we'll see that in a moment. Of course, that one does not f add up. There we go. Um, let's hook up the rail. This is, uh, by the way, there's something else that I have noticed in my testing which uh, I still have to make a Reddit post for because I still haven't figured out why that is. And I think it's a glitch. Um, can I show you that easily? I think I can. Yes. If the... Okay, so this train is clearly on a straight track. Except the last bit of train is starting to bend. It is not actually on the turn, but it's connected to the turn. What that does, as you might already have seen, is it won't allow me to connect this pump. Now, the strange thing is, however, uh, let me... It's very close, okay. Now, this is set up already, so that's fine. If I walk over there really quick, because my train's already there, and, uh, you know, having to wait for the train to come, and then uh, walk all the way back, or drive all the way back, it's faster just to walk here. If I now stick one little bit of um, rail extra in here, look at that. That hooks up, then the pump will hook up, and start to push out fluid, which I think is very strange. I have no idea why that is. Um, I mean, it's still on the same piece of track because it can't actually get to this rail. 
because it will come in on the bendy part of the track and use that. So I think the functionality of this pump is connected to the rail that is next to it in some fashion, and I have no idea why or how, but that's something that I've noticed. Um, so you might want to help pay attention to that in your own factories. So, uh, what was I doing again? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I need to figure out. Um, I've set that up now. Uh, let me get my train. Unloading iron ore, unloading iron ore. That's fine. Did I get trains to that already? Probably not. Nope. Okay, so I need to set up some trains for that. But do I have... Yeah, I could utilize that and just make it a little bit bigger. But this is running out. This is only 2.3 million. Uh, this is being pre-smelted for the other area, which, you know, let's keep that the way it is. Let's not change that out until this is emptied out and we can actually um, turn it over to a normal setup. Well, quote-unquote normal setup, because I want to get rid of all the... Um, Mixed trains, so this IC train will just be an iron and copper train um, at a later date. So, do I have... Well, I have that one, which is 18 million. Did I not? Okay. Okay. I have a little one over here. Hmm. Nothing close, though. Nothing I can just... You know, if this was iron, that would be hilariously perfect. But it isn't, so... I'm going to set, have to set up a train for that. Um, but first, I, I'm trying to focus... For, uh, I really am um, trying to get to a functional setup here. Um, and I was actually planning on, as I said, getting that battery set up uh, today. But, you know, I need oil for that. So maybe I just should just stick to that setup and um, get that optimally running. Uh, yeah, I think I should do that. Because if that is optimally running, then... Um, we can do other stuff. That means I will need to change this name. Let's start with that. Because this is clearly not just unloading oil. Or just not, uh, not just unloading. This is unloading water. And this will be unloading... Uh, should I say crude? Yeah, let me just make that nice and say crude oil. This is now going to the wrong one. Awesome. So we can delete that. Yeah, you collect some more water. That's fine. Um, add, unload, oil refinery, unload water until empty. That's fine. You collect some more and get it here. And then I can build a new station and collect the oil from the other side. I think I have a station for this already, don't I? Uh, would that be in miscellaneous? No. Would that be in here? I thought I did. Train stations? Yes. All right, awesome. Um, I think I can just keep it the same way. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I think I'll do that and then focus it in another direction. Uh, hopefully you'll see what I mean later on. Uh, we'll do that. So that's the easy part, let's say. Uh, we do need to remember to add this little bit of rail, otherwise this pump won't work for some reason. Now, 
Help me. Do I have any pumps left, actually? Or were these the last ones? Maybe I have some in my train. Because I did get rid of some stuff. Uh, but they were not pumps. Okay, cool. Did I actually just use up all my last pumps? Wow, that was uh, lucky, I guess. Oh, and I don't have enough engines anymore to make new ones. Alright, off to stuff we go. Uh, there we go. Off to stuff we go, and let's try and make some more pumps. Am I not auto-building those? Hmm, I wonder. Maybe I should just do that, because I'm using a lot of them. Check it out. Lights, lights, rail, miners, pump jacks, which I'm going to be needing a lot of in the near future. Well, there's 40 there, so that should do fine. Um, you know what? I can bring those along already, just in case. Uh, I can stick those in there. There we go. Uh, what else? What else? Well, do I want to make pumps on location? And what does that take? Steel in a pipe. And, well, I have... Well... Hmm. It does seem to be ideally placed right there. Because I can use the engines to feed into there, pipes to feed into there, and then just steal some steel from here. To feed into there. That seems entirely reasonable, doesn't it? Um, I think it does. I'm just trying to figure out how to get the steel there. Because if I go like that, unfortunately, I can't get it out. I can't get it. Well, I could move that, I suppose. But then um, I can't do it directly. If I go like that, I can't do it directly. No, I have to take it from that side. Because then I can go like that. And then probably... Eh. Eh. You know what? I can just shift it over one extra. Like that. And just go like that. And then end up there. Awesome. Fixed. Nice. Okay, so now it's just a matter of... Uh, where do I output? I don't know. I don't need stacks, by the way. I just go like that. Uh, like that, and we'll put it in a box that they can actually deliver to me. Let me make sure I'm not actually already building this stuff. That would be very silly if I build it twice. No, no. Oh, I'm stuck again behind pipes. No, okay, so I'm quite confident I'm not building it yet. So, let me, there we go, pumps, thank you, and restrict to one. Perfect. Could not be better. Seven pumps already, right, eight. So we have pumps, we have enough material, we have that, we have... I think we even have some extra rail with us. Yeah. So we can get quite far. Do we have enough lights? Yeah, we have plenty of lights. So let go, let's go back to the oil refinery. And, um, oh, I like that this is full, man. I really do. Okay, uh, let's go back to the oil refinery and start. Uh, no, we were working on. Yes, we were working on the oil refinery. Got confused there for a moment. Um,. So we have this. We need to get that into the factory. So we can do that, and that is the easiest way we can do it. Uh, let me make sure we feed woo, that train. 
as well. Okay, cool. Uh, let's make sure we don't get run over by the refueling train. There it is. Hello. Um, so we need to get a train going, yes? We need to get a train going to fetch the oil out of that ginormous oil pack. Or, uh, sorry, not a pack. A um, field, oil field, that is right there. Of course, that needs beacons as well. We need beacons for everything. Uh, this is set up correctly, but how do we get it out? Because we are already outputting this here. So we need to shift it over. Um, so I think what I'll do... Let me think about this for a second. I think I'll just go like this. Spew that out on that side. Can I safely go there? Can I safely go there? Yes, I can. Get that out there. I think that's the way we can do it. Yeah. And if not, we'll, you know, figure it out later. Um, oh, I can all go all the way over here. That's quite nice. And then I can just figure out... We want to feed this side into there, and I actually would like to feed the other side into there. Um, oh, I probably picked up some speed modules somewhere, which is fine. Wait, speed modules? These... Oh, yes, of course. Of course, those are the beacons. They need speed modules. Are we done? Thank you. So if I... That feeds into there. And then that feeds into there as well. So if I... Yeah. I think that's the smart thing to do. Can I do that all the way? Yes. If I feed half of them... Half of the crude into this side of the factory. And the other half into the other side of the factory. That should give me a little bit more balance um, wait why does this go no it's that one okay that should give me a little bit more balance in where um, my stuff goes my 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 oil and keep everything flowing a little bit better and that's what we all want in the end so that is good of course we have some Backflow now. Hmm, that's interesting. I need to add a pump to that as well. That is actually quite interesting. Well, we'll check that out later. We'll check that out later. For now, we'll go, I don't know, same height as this one, sure, and then we'll go over here. Connect that up, connect that up. Now this will... It can't backflow into the tank, so that is very, very nice to see. Uh, it will backflow a little into these pipes, but that's, you know, fine. Uh, as soon as these tanks will be filled, these pumps will put push it out, and that is going to be fine. Not too worried about that. The train itself... Do we have... We have wagons, but we don't actually have a train. I need some engines. So we can actually... Oops. Build a train, and then we can take that train and make a railroad straight towards the oil patch. How will we do that, by the way? Um, I think I'll just put a square down here. Let's see. That will be about... There, if I use my fingers on the screen, yeah, that will be about there, and then we can just go down. So add one more square there. Well, that's good, good. So then we can utilize that. Um, then we can just go down, and then we'll have to figure out something around here because I don't actually want to go over these 
patches. I still want to maybe mine them out one day. Um, we need to make a little setup right there and get the oil flowing, as they say. Engines for a train. There we go. Steal half of these and uh, go one. Perfect. Do I have enough for some? Yes, I do. Oh wait, I need. I need these. I need. I need fluid trains, of course. So those are three of those, but I still need one more. So let me wait until these robots have given me more stuff. Um, so I can build one more. Come on, you can do it. Give me more stuff. Let me get filled up with everything that I need. What am I requesting on this front? 200. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's get ready to roll out. Um, I'll go to the oil refinery, build the train. I've built that already. Have I not? Yes. Place it down. It goes through that again. Nice. Uh, place it down and then drive it over to where I need to go. Uh, there we go. And fluid wagons behind it. Hang on. One. Two. Something is horribly wrong. They're all stuck inside each other. What happened? Uh, okay. Let me try that again. That makes a lot more sense. Okay. Uh, we can use this trick to place down... Where is it? Well, it's supposed to be in here. Oh, I can't see that. To place down the new block already. Oh, but I need my supply train to do that because I need all the rail, of course. Hang on, where is my... Am I going insane or what? Okay, so I am going insane. Cool. Uh, yeah, but I need my supply train to do that. So I can't actually... Wait, how did I get in here? Okay. I need all the rail and all the stuff that is in here to actually do that. Is there a train station somewhere there that I can utilize? Not really. Guess we'll have to do this by hand. Uh, get rid of that. Get into the train. Put it on manually. And we'll start driving. This should... What could go wrong, you know? Never had any trouble with that. Ooh, before I go anywhere near the new blocks, let me get rid of my robots before I lose them. Uh, this is the on the track, and this is the off the track button. Yeah. Or roundabout, I should say. So, that way, that way. Yay. Where? Okay, so we're getting near the end. Let's get out, and let's... Uh, let me think about this. So, this would be the upper corner, like that. Yeah, perfect. And then from here, we should be able just to go down. Now, I won't do that with squares, because that does not make much sense. They might be eventually become squares, but uh, not at the moment. All right. Get to work. There's a lot of biters in the way. We should get rid of those. Let's jump out. And um, do we have power? Let me check. We have plenty of power. Now, where is my setup for shooting stuff? There we go. Ooh. 
click, I guess. There's a lot of biters here. Oops, I got hit. Wait, where did I change designs? That's weird. pick up this. No, we cannot. We can pick up that. We can pick up that. And then add to the area there. And just continue on down the line. Hang on. Stop hitting me. Okay, let me get rid of... Oh, did I lose a bot? Yeah, I lost. Did I lose six? Oh, no, 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 no. One was destroyed. There's some damaged, but one was destroyed. Well, you know what? If that's the price I have to pay, that is fine by me. All right. Here we go. Uh, this is the last bit, I think. Uh, let's just go like this. Delete that setup. Delete this setup. And then add to those. I think that's this camp in its entirety. Oh, there's a there's a some uh, worms there. Well, if we do annihilation, we do it all the way, or we don't do it at all. There you go. Thank you very much. All right, clean everything up. We're done. There we go. And that's it. Now, make a straight line down. What, no more rail? Well, we'll see about that. There we go. Finish the roundabout so we can actually get back. Where is my design? It's over here still. Where it has always been. Let me get in my train. Oops. And drive forward. That would help a lot. How's my lights doing? I've got plenty of lights. Where do I need to go? Oh, quite a, quite far, quite far. Um, oh, no, no. I'm getting to the forest now. Just looking at the mini map, what I should do. I think I'm going to go and build a. Um, roundabout right there, just above the uh, actual ore patches there. Oops. It's a bit close, but I guess we can live with that. We'll shift over one section. And then we'll go down. Does that make sense? Let me check. If we go down right there. Yeah, we can build a train station somewhere around there. And then we've cleared that area. So that's good. That is actually very nice. Um, yeah, like that, I suppose. Does not really matter. Mm, 
Yeah. Now add a straight section again. There. It's getting quite hard to see where we need to place this stuff. But that should not deter. There we go. Oh, we're getting close to that biter base, but they should be friendly. I mean, these... I think these were spawned after we actually gave the order to be friendly. We are getting awfully close to this ore, though. The, this oil, though. I don't actually want to drive over the oil. We are definitely going to be driving over oil. Huh. Okay. Okay. That's annoying. That is Definitely not what I want to do. Definitely not. So, uh, let's go back, let's go back. Let's go way on to back when. I was only just building this stuff. And I had not a problem with driving, apparently. There we go. Uh, stay on, stay on, get off. Okay, whatever. Stop there. Now, this will not work, so we'll not do that. Uh, let's clear out this section of forest because I don't want to make my life a little bit, uh, a little harder than it has to be. I don't need all of that wood, by the way. Uh, I need. I do want to get rid of that. There's a light there. Okay, let's see. How far do I can... How, how do... What? Let me try that again in English, shall I? How far do we can... What is that? How far can I go to the side? So I don't actually touch the oil. Um, let me make it even easier on myself. I want to only remove that, and only remove that. Perfect. Any lights or... Yeah, see, I left the light there. Let me check everything in here. Okay, perfect. Um... I guess I can just stick it next to it. And then we can... Um, yeah, let's do that. Remove that, remove that. And go directly down again. Um, I would even like to have it closer, but I guess we can't. This is the tightest bend we can make. Okay. Now, this should steer us clear from any oil. Gosh, I hope so. Let's check. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Nice and, nice and roomy, nice and spacey. We have lots and lots of space. Um, okay, let's get the train. Make a roundabout there, just to go around the oil before we actually um, head into it. Okay, let's not forget all the robots before it takes a lot longer for them to reach me. There we go, and the last one's in. All right, cool. Let's go. Um, do I want to clear this forest? Well, I want to clear these biters anyway. Um, yeah, I think... 
I think we'll build the... Is that enough space, though? I don't want to go too far. I don't want to go all ham on it. You know what? I'll add one more section. One more section. Now we've cleared the forest. Well, almost. Almost, at least. Uh, oh, can I... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Click. And from there, we need to do some cleaning. Meaning, kill stuff. Uh, let me... Get closer first. And then start murdering these fools. Alright, so... There we go. Oh, I triggered... Oh, I triggered a quite a big nest, actually. Huh... Oops. Oh well, I guess we have to deal with that now. Um, like thus. And thus. Don't actually need those anymore. Don't actually need those anymore. What's damaged here? Oh, the rock is damaged. Alright, cool. Quite a lot of stuff here. Ow. Oh, something got damaged again. Or, I mean, destroyed. Oh, I've got so many trees with me. Um. But I guess we're just... Uh, we're going to have to live with that. And I'm not too worried about it, really. We have plenty of these robots left. I think we even have some in the uh, on the train. So you know, it is just the way things go. Sometimes when you fight biters, you lose some of them. All right. Now that we've gone and gotten rid of all of this, well, I hope we've the last one. Oh, I've got no more. Uh, okay. So get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of this. Is that it? Are they all done? Yes, they are all done. Very nice. Let's clean up. Okay, fine. Did I leave anything behind? I think I did, actually. Only that one. Alright, cool. Now. Something about a train station. Hmm, do I want to get rid of these guys? They are kind of in the way, so yeah, I do want to get rid of those. Got no more rail, so we need to get some more rail. Uh, there we... Oh, okay. No more room as well, so we'll get rid of some stuff. Well, let me think about this. I think I'll just make one giant loop here. And just loop back on the roundabout itself. I uh, don't have to do anything fancy. I mean... Just make the train station over there. Um, Dark Anthurian says, I just made my first modular armor. All right. Cool, man. Keep plugging away. Keep building. Uh, let's see. If I want my train station to be in the middle here, let's say I'm just, you know, guesstimating... This should be the train station. Um, that means I should go down there and then something, something like that, I suppose. Let me turn that around. 
That's the tightest corner I can muster. All right, let's do that. Connect that up there. Of course, I do need power there, so let's not forget to place that down. Uh, something, something like that. And then we'll figure out how to get from there to there. Um, okay. Can I now... Um, I need to make a turn there. These guys are getting annoying. Okay, so I need to get rid of them. Let me get do that first. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does it not let me go to maximum length? Ah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, all of the lasers smack dab in the middle of their face. Once you have lasers, and once you've researched enough um, of the laser damage and speed, there are no biters that are a problem. They just don't exist anymore. There's no biter base big enough to make anything a problem anymore. And since they don't, you know, I've had this, I've, I've, I've said this rant before, since they don't actually give me anything anymore. I don't understand why they're still in the game. Uh, I don't know. That might just be me, though. Uh, do I need to get rid of you? Apparently I do. So let's do that. What is my next placement? That would be this one. We can get rid of this. That's not actually a thing. No. Well, there's quite a large biter base behind this. <laughs> oh well. I've started now, so I need to finish. Next one. There we go. How long? Wait, have I been alive for two and a half hours? What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's been two and a half hours already. I, I completely lost track of time. I completely lost track of time. No one warned me. Oh well, I can understand. I, I guess I can understand. Whoops, let's not get killed right there by a worm. Let me just finish this section of murdering. Which was quite fast. I think that's it. Is that it? Well, there's two tiny ones still there. Might as well get those as well. Can I reach? Yes, I can. Awesome. And then we have to quit for the day. Unfortunately. Um, let me make sure I don't take too much stuff with me. There we go. Didn't leave anything behind, right? Nope. Okay, so I can get rid of all of that. And now, I can make sure that I actually have enough room to turn. Um, shift, and I want to go back. But I want to go up first. I want to have... I want to make sure that I have enough room to actually do this. 
Okay, so... Whoops. Shift and go. Go, 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 and then connect there. Perfect! That was actually perfect. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to build our train station and, well, I can build the train station, but our oil setup we'll have to do next time. Let me, what's the middle? Mm, that seems about right. <clears throat> what we'll call this? What will we call this? I say we call this um, load crude. Oops. Uh, I need a dash in there, of course. Wait, why is it not dashing? Okay. Load crude oil. You can request my train. Whoa. I've got a lot of trains running. Where's mine? Manual mode. There you are. No, that doesn't seem to be mine. Hang on, where's my train? Well, I know where it is, but physically I know where it is. Am I going insane? Oh, there it is. Wow. Okay. Um, load, uh, 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 we will go to load crude oil. If I've done my job correctly, this will, yes, look at that. Look at that, perfect. Okay, so we have our train now here. We can start building our uh, oil setup. Uh, I think I have enough room for um, an, a nice oil setup that is beaconed as well. And then we can have the oil train a running from our oil set, our new oil setup, which, you know, it's not entirely finished, but we'll, we'll get there in the end. It is, it is working and it is still supplying quite a bit of oil. Um, Hmm. Quite a bit of petroleum gas to this section, so I'm quite glad to see that. Quite happy to see that. Um, yeah, we can get this fully operational, and then we can start thinking about where we will build our next setup, and moving this, and doing all the other fun stuff that we still need to do. But for now, because it's been two and a half hours already, I shall say thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you did, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you have any suggestions or ideas. My name is Diablo, and I will see you next time.